regarding Senator Charles of Chuck Schumer, Democrat from New York. You have got to be the lowest life form in the United States Senate at this particular time. You are at least as dangerous as your little buddy Barack Obama. Compared to you, he's a neophyte. Just a naive little newbie. Someone you liberal Senate pricks have anointed grooming him to be the handsome face of your ugly ideology. Your pawn. No, he's your knight in shining armor, coming to our emotional rescue. You, however, Senator Schumer, you're entrenched. You wield power. You, sir, are a dick. Tater. You and your little comrades, Hillary, Mrs. Bill Clinton, Patrick, I sent fake anthrax to my own office, Leahy, Dick the Turban Durbin, John Lurch Carey, and Ted Kennedy, submerged vehicle evacuation expert, among others, are putting hooks into the jaws of working Americans and forcing our faces into the dirt and twisting our arms to vote for your boy, your tool. All you dickheads have created a grand delusion to the simple layman who doesn't have time to examine the facts and details and the minutiae contained within all the variables which you are manipulating all around us. The average guy knows little else beyond what's happening to him and to those with whom he does business. He's mainly aware only of who is the president, so he blames George W. Bush for the hardship and the uncertainty of the moment. And you know this. People with whom I associate and do business, mainly auto body shops, garages, and used car dealers are all real slow right now. Nobody wants to buy a car. Lots of people who may have been potentially shopping around for another vehicle can see the price of gas going higher every day, and it scares them away. They don't see the sense in even painting their cars or rebuilding their motors or otherwise fixing up and repairing their vehicles unless it's an emergency because they don't know how much longer they can afford to drive them. Many of these vehicles are pickup trucks and SUVs, which burn more gas than you, your majesty, super-powered, super-asswipe, who would prefer that we, the little people, consume out here in the streets where you would never even step out of your chauffeured Lincoln Navigator, protected by armed security and paid for by us. Many of us need these big gas-guzzling vehicles for work. We have lots of tools and trailers with equipment and jobs to do. Oh, but you wouldn't understand any of that. The others are trying to sell these gas guzzlers so they can get something more economical, but who's buying? Nobody has shit for brains. Dealers don't even want to take them in on a trade. Not that you'd even care. But lots of mechanics and auto body men are not getting enough work to keep their shops open. I know a man who delivers paint to auto body shops. He just told me 19 auto body shops on his delivery route have closed their doors in the last month. Right now, everything's tense. It's all up in the air. This is probably good news for you and your cruel partners torture you're drowning us your lines are slowly going out of business because of what y'all are doing i guess you assholes are gonna make us all bail them out too right well, who's gonna bail us out giant hairy testicle bag airlines let's call them big airplanes they pay even more per gallon of gas than us seven bucks well you're not about to do anything about that are you dickhead? Big oil scapegoat and the whipping boy of you dangerously idiotic Democrat piss brains. 
Well, Big Oil might just get tired of taking all the blame all the time. So they're going to try to deflect and ricochet at least some of the blame over to big airplanes, big trucks, and big boats, and big package. You know, UPS and FedEx and the U.S. Mail. Big Oil charges these other capitalist big demons more for gas, big airplanes, big trucks, and, and big boats, and big package. will have to stick it to us little people on the backside and pass on the higher fuel prices to consumers in the form of higher prices for any product under the sun. Big airplanes, big trucks, big boats, and big package are going to ante up big bucks to big oil to keep that big tap flowing with jet fuel and diesel because the little people got to be able to move freely about the country. So by spreading the inconvenience of high oil prices as evenly as possible, all of us have to absorb the sticker shock. None of these biggies can do anything about it except you, big lawmaker, centered up Chuck Schumer. But at present, you and your big Bolshevik comrades are conducting a little experiment to determine just exactly how tight do you have to turn the screws on working people before they all blame and hate the Republicans and go running to the savior. Barack Obama. And now you're pulling this new stunt. You wrote a letter to Indy Mac Bank in California, which is fine and dandy you are on the Senate Banking Committee. But then you leak that letter to the media, inciting mass panic and a run on the bank. The Wall Street Journal says, not only have you shouted fire in a crowded theater, but you're pouring gas on the flames. I can't help but wonder why the actual senators from California apparently did not assist you in this little caper. Maybe even way out leftist Barbara Boxer and Diane. My husband owns a company that's bigger than Halliburton and gets more government contracts, but the media helps me keep that a secret. Feinstein did not want to appear as though they had anything to do with this. Sure, you have a plan, don't you? That once you have demoralized all the people into voting for the mysterious yes we can change pushed by Barack Obama, then all you sycophants can experience unity. The Lord Obama can raise his staff over the sea and part the red tape which stands in the way of offshore drilling. And then with that same staff, the great Lord Obama can strike the ground and summon forth the gusher. And usher in the new era and make it look like it was his idea. And to ye Democrats be the glory until that day comes. 2009, you punk-ass Democrat bitches are gonna say no to the oil drillers and to make the American people suffer so you can suck in contributions from the Sierra Club and moveon.org and Code Pink and the other undercover communist freakazoids who are gonna be so pissed off when they find out they've been hustled by you. Watch out before you numb nut socialists get your dicks caught in a slamming door and you set into motion falling dominoes that even you cannot control. Unintended consequence, heretofore unforeseen, and all of us end up in some soup line in the dust bowl. Well, that's probably what you ass fuck liberal cocksuckers want to happen anyway, huh? Better watch out, man. It's gonna be Bastille Day all over again out here. Chunks.